Hey guys, it's Miss Melissa from the Children's Hands-On Museum of Tuscaloosa. Microbes are so tiny, we need microscopes in order to be able to see them. Microscopes use glass lenses to magnify an image. If you use more than one lens, then you can magnify it that much more. Modern microscopes might even have lighting systems in them or cameras so that you can see better and you can also keep a record of what you saw in the microscope. I've got a microscope here and obviously I'm gonna look through these two lenses. I have a slide and this slide has the wing of a honeybee on it, which I can see it on this slide, but if I put it down and I look through the microscope and I shift it around, I can see the image much easier. Go. Hey friends, it's Miss Laura. So Mrs. Melissa just finished telling me all about the awesome things you can do with a microscope, like looking at things like this honeybee wing. She gave me the honeybee wing slide and I had the idea to come down to Chom's basement and take a look through the wet scope. Now the wet scope is a really cool device that is kind of like a microscope, but it's an easy view microscope that lets you take a really good look through a big lens. Now that you've seen a couple of different types of microscopes, let's talk about different people who use microscopes every day in their jobs. Botanists study plants using a microscope. Crime scene detectives look at evidence through a microscope and lab technicians look at blood and other samples to diagnose diseases so that people are treated with the correct medicines. Jewelers even look at gems through a microscope to determine their purity and how much they're worth. And there are many other people who also use microscopes every day in their job. Who knows, some of you might grow up and do a job using a microscope. Continue to follow Chom at home every day. Bye.